What's up everyone, Darkscream217 here, with me is a special guest, Big Al as always, and welcome to another installment of Memory Lane. What's up guys? And Memory Lane, we had a very interesting topic. What is the topic, Al? It is reviews that we've done on shit that we've hate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty broad term, but yeah. My review, I am kind of cheating a little, but then again, I'm not as I'm backhanding it to you. Uh, because I never actually established rules on how we do memory lanes, but I'm going to add this one here. I didn't put a cutoff date, so this review is actually pretty recent. It's actually like a month, maybe 14 months old, so the limit is a year. If the video is a year old, then we can do a commentary on it. Okay. And this one is on a review that I actually originally did not want to do. <laughs> here, here, Here's the thing. Sometimes I would do requests, or I would do a request of review on my, on my videos, where I would set up a, few, a list of anime that I actually legally own on DVD, and then people could just comment on what they want to re want me to review. This one I only had two choices: Ayane's High Kick or Green Green. Oh. Because I have a history with Green Green, as most of my fans know. <laughs> And it turns out people want to see more negativity than positivity. Green Green got an overwhelming majority of votes, and only three people, I don't know who the other person is, but Lava Buster and Lance Kenna, God, I love you guys, and I wish we had more supporters like you, but they weren't enough. And so I was, I originally got stuck with Green Green. So through the week, I was just watching the rest of the show. I decided not to watch it from day one. If I'm like, what, if I ever saw an anime and then I haven't like continued it from a year or so, I usually start at the beginning. But since I've seen like the first few episodes dozens of times, don't ask. Um, <laughs> I decided to, fuck it, I'm just gonna start off at the next episode where I left off and it was just abysmal. And then af after the anime review's over, like one Friday morning, I'm like, alright, that that's that fucking it. I'm gonna review the shit out of this bad fucking movie <sighs> and you know the thing is people have reviewed this anime before and said it was like one of the worst things they have ever seen um Hardy and Aikari Saka included so I don't even know why I can repeat the same things that they already said but whatever people want me to talk about specifically it's for those who don't know um if you're just new sub subscribe to me green green as well as two other individual anime are like the top three things I hate the most. Green Green's on the tippity top of the list, though. So with that said, let's actually get started with the review. Are you ready? Got your set shit set about? Yes, sir. All right, I'll play. Three, two, one, play. So I thought I should do it with a very nice intro. No script. My classic mutton chops. I'm wearing the Negima Mahora necklace. You look like Andre the Giant, Jesus. I fucking love Andre the Giant, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> but, didn't didn't get a haircut, I let that shit grow until graduation. So, here's this wonderful thing. Here's the results. And you regretted having that <laughs> poll. Okay, two things. The little note there when it was showing the results was from the Tenchi Muyo soundtrack. And this bit right here that we now just disappeared from is a nod to Scrubs when the janitor was giving John Dorian the evil eye. That song <laughs> playing in the background, yeah, that's that's how I felt. I wanted to give everyone the evil eye. And uh, any questions you want to ask me, Al? Anything you want to know about this anime or anything? Is it really the worst thing you've ever seen? Yes. Um, this is the worst thing I've, I've ever seen from start to finish. There were some anime I've seen that were bad, but I do not like to subject myself to stuff I don't like, so I just usually drop it and not watch it ever again, like Zero, like The Familiar of Zero, for, ex for instance. And I had no plans of continuing Green Green, but I had no plans of, you know, getting rid of my DVD collection either, because just like video games, when you trade in your DVDs for credit and shit, you ain't gonna get much, and... You know, and I actually let my friend borrow this anime before I got a chance to finish it. And he explained the plot to me. He explained how it ended, and he said his final words were, "Go to the nearest FYE and sell it." 
<laughs> but I have a policy on not selling DVDs. So it was there to stay. <laughs> and you know the reason why I put that uh, request up there is because yeah you know, I kind of I had faith in my subscribers that they probably want something a little more obscure and something possibly with some positivity to it. Iron is High Kick was actually a short-lived two-episode OVA series. That was a very purple school. I'm just I'm just pointing that yeah, out there. Yeah, complete contrast to the color green, which is you know a lot of it. Um, it's school deep in the mountains and what, what, what was the line free from paradise when I watched this anime with two other friends my friend had to pause the video and goes what the fuck did, this is the Nintendo hater guy by the way but he was like what the fuck does he mean by you know, free from uh, you know, a, a complete paradise free from I forgot what the rest of it said but he just keeps pausing the video and going man this, this film's shit pants retarded and then there was one part of the video where he's like this is now glue goblin retarded see that guy eating the big bowl of rice that ain't rice that's fucking glue and then halfway into the movie when we got into the scene where the girls are introduced on the bus and they actually explain why they're going on the bus in the, in the, for, they actually had to exposit what they're doing going to that school as they were going to that school wouldn't you tell them a week in advance well anyway he points that out and goes well now this is this is done being Blue Goblin retarded. This is now Drano Huffing retarded. This looks like a virgin sacrifice about to be made, by the way. Nah, he just, he got, he got fucking tackled by that girl in the green dress, so. Oh. Yeah. Um. Uh, any other questions? I'm trying to think of more. Oh, yeah. Uh, this wasn't the only video I did on Green Green, though. Um, I did a few old school EWO commentaries on a few episodes. I actually remember that. I remember one you did with Time Warp and the, the fat kid in the middle in this picture, he's like, look, it's Big Al. Okay, first off, um, Big Al, even though I know you have a lot of flaws in yourself, I do not want to comp I do not want to compare yourself to that fat guy, Machi, because you're more of a decent human being than he is. I know that much for sure. <laughs> uh, if I'm going to compare... What the fuck? Yeah. I chose some weird Did you have to use that picture, really? I used a lot of unusual screen caps. It looks like you just got assaulted by Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> I wish. Tuxedo Mask, he's at least a fucking badass. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you need my help, Sailor Moon. Throws a rose and fucking runs like a bitch. Oh man, throws a rose in some dude's eye. I'm like, ah, oh, you dick! <laughs> Other than the EWO commentary, I also subjected my friend to watching the first episode. Remember? Jesus Christ, he's got a bigger chin than Antonio Inoki. I don't even know who that is. Don't explain it. Uh, I'll look it up later. Um, Japanese wrestler. He was a legend in the I 80s. I thought so. Um, the Inoki gave it away, by the way. Ah. I did a, I, I did a video with the Heiwashu, and he did like this reaction you know, video, and he was like, wow, this movie, this is fucking bad. <laughs> I think I might re-upload that if I ever get in touch with him and ask for his permission. It's like, hey man, remember that old video that we did on Green Green? You want me to re-upload that so people can see how how much you suffered? He probably won't care either way, but I'm gonna double check with him just to make sure. Oh, I, I have a question. Yeah. Would you consider this a very misogynistic show? <laughs> I wouldn't say the show itself is misogynistic, but the, but those three characters, those three Stooges characters, they are pretty damn misogynistic. Like they just because they're so because they live in a school like detached from civilization, they just don't know how to treat women, and they never had it. And I mentioned this in the review, they never learn how to. They never had an arc. They had no character development. I wouldn't mind if they started like that first, because who the hell is probably going to. Who the hell is a guy detached from civilization is going to know how to treat other human beings? But I thought they would learn something later in the later later on, but they didn't. No, they got the. Oh yeah, I mentioned this. They cross dress and uh, sorry for the convenience. I'm sorry you guys don't have to suffer like I do. It kind of reminds me of that one Mitch Hedberg skit. He's like, "What if escalators turn into stairs?" Sorry for the convenience. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, um, any, uh, so they didn't learn about not to be a jackass at all. No. 
Nothing. So, dear diary, to learn, today I learned not to be a misogynistic, sexist pig. <laughs> that face. I was. <laughs> that face sums okay. up this your entire views on this fucking show. I definitely took that it, when I was like scripting. I was scripting, gathering screen caps, recording, and editing all in one day, and I was still grumbling to myself. But I thought, you know, maybe I should put a reaction shot in there. And yeah, that is a, a almost near imitation of how I reacted when watching the anime. Of course, I'm not looking directly at the camera. But that's because my TV's actually placed, like, right next to my laptop. <laughs> this this film made Andre the Giant sad. <laughs> wonder if anyone's going to do a close-up picture of my face with the words Obey at the bottom. The, with the black and white. Is that a bear? Yes. That that looks like a wolf. I think it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a bear. And, um, yeah, that's one. That's the only character who actually develops in the show, or one of the few characters that develop in the What does TPD stand for? I have no idea. Like, Japanese, the Japanese like to put random English words on their freaking shirts because they think, because it sounds exotic to them. <laughs> like, look at fucking Mercenary... Takatsuka Mono protect my balls! <laughs> look at, look at uh, Mercenary Tao shirt that says kill you on the back. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> Aloha, please to kill you. Hold on, I, I don't have the volume high because I don't want this to pick up on my microphone, but how, what are we talking about? Oh, yeah, I'm talking about how this character developed. She used to hate those three characters, but then she, like, learned to tolerate them. And even even them granted them mercy at the end of the series. Not not, not the girl now, but the purple-haired chick. By the way, this is how all my videos are made. Like, I don't use footage because I do not want to get falsely flagged. And that's that still is an issue to this day. I mean, I still mm. see it happening. Time. Wait, is this the Sundari character? No, that's not the Sundari character. The girl I was talking about before was the Sundari character. Oh, because she's got that very Sundari look in her eyes. No, oh, but she was an asshead towards Midori. And yeah, we also have to have a token lolicon. By the way, I'm so glad I didn't show you guys the intro to the show because it is the most retarded thing you'll ever see in your god. I, I've actually seen the intro. It, all the chicks are naked and they just kind of draw the clothes uh, on them. I, I also make a little interesting joke about... Mr. about the cactus the character is holding and said said the best kid, most interesting character in the show or something like that the review <laughs> is still up on YouTube it's just on a secondary account I'll post a link in the description below if you haven't seen it already okay this part I get annoyed with even my even my buddy um, let's just call him Ramio we'll name him after the, the, the fifth angel from Evangelion since that's one of his favorite characters Okay. He he still paused. He, that was one of the parts where he paused the question. It's like, why do they find her unattractive? I'm like, I don't fucking know. It's gotta be the glasses. Can't be the glasses. Glasses is a fetish thing in Japan. Big Al, you're probably sexy for a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that Baka Gaijin makes my Kokoro go doki doki. Wow, you are such a fucking... Wow, I don't know. What? <laughs> Well, actually, it, it, actually, I know what that said. You said something that makes my heart pound really fast. Yeah. Uh, Bakker Gaijin is stupid foreigner. <laughs> oh, man. Any other questions? I'm, I'm trying to come up with more shit to talk about, but I think I mentioned everything in the first half. Like, I didn't want to do this review. And after the, watching the anime, I'm like, I was passionate about making this. I'm like, I'm going to make this the best damn review I ever made in my entire fucking life. <laughs> I was this is gonna top my shit by the way the other two anime I hate uh, the first season of Vicky Tosin and Love Hina they look like they're about to strip search him no they're trying to get him to look at the girls hot tub because that has been done before it's so unique and original <laughs> so funny guys sexism <laughs> oh man I would I, I don't want to cry sexism at every other thing because it's... You, you know what I mean. I'm joking. <laughs> but I just... that That's a that's a thing I see in every anime. Like, oh, there's a hot springs. When are the guys going to peep at the hot tub? Like, I play a drinking game every time. <laughs> sexism in a Japanese anime? You jest. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then I mentioned the plot and how they were... These two were part of a forbidden love and... 
they never mentioned specifically what their past life or past lives were. And then when I was thinking about it, after I made the video, it's like, what were their past lives? I almost think that the creators were being pretentious and trying to make it look like they're the modern day Romeo and Juliet. So, so there's a lot of timey wommy wibbly wobbly involved. Yes, yes. The series gets really sci-fi. I mean, there was it was heavily hinted in the first episode because the main because Midori was like her birth date was like in the year three thousand. Hey, you already used this screen cap. You're cheating. Did I? I yeah, I used you used this in the. No, you use this. You use this exact same screen cap in the very beginning of your review when talking about this character. No, I, I use the. I use something from the same scene, but I don't think I use the exact same screen cap. Doesn't matter, dude. This is like the most amount of screen caps I put in an anime, by the way. And this is the one. And by the way, when I edit my videos, unless I'm talking about certain char uh, specific characters, I just take random screen cap highlights. And they just sort it out in an uh, in a random order. But this is the first time I ever like put some effort into these screen caps, and just say, and as to point to as to illustrate my video, and I make it back to a future joke here because I'm just losing my mind as I made this video. <laughs> How big was the script to this review? I'm not sure. I need to check. And by the way, I think I got something mixed up here. At the end of the series, everyone forgets that she existed. Ex I, I think they—they they never flout say it, but I think the main character still remembers her. And who gives a shit? Uh, <laughs> I didn't. Like at least Icky Toast and Dragon Destiny, there were some things that made it go wonky, wonky, that made me gain interest in the show, and then it just goes downhill. But you know what? I actually liked the last two episodes. I thought it was a big, awesome, big ass, awesome action sequence hmm. that caused me to actually you know enjoy this anime despite its massive amount of flaws that they obviously did not try to improve from the first season. they look like they're listening to jesus performing a sermon <laughs> oh i don't know if i mentioned the praise this. be to animu jesus i don't know if i mentioned this but they, they there was a character that got raped by a bear i mentioned it in the review but i don't know if we... what the hell yeah there's like this random guy emo looking kid that just floats around like a ghost he has no lines or whatever he just shows up in the background and i don't know but he looked more interesting than the uh, than some of the other characters even i'm just laughing at the art style here just suddenly out of nowhere fucking cut okay paper cutouts don't worry it, it will get worse I, I actually screen capped something that i was baffled by witnessing uh, <sighs> Man. You know, I, I, and I said to myself, after this anime, after this anime review, I am going to shut up about this series. I am going to move on with my life. Guess what? I didn't. Other than the fact <laughs> that I'm doing a commentary on this video now, I mentioned it in another video, in an earlier video of mine, when I talk about obscure anime and shit. Because this is the worst anime I have in my collection. The absolute worst. And I, and I have tried to browse through my collection to see if there's anything else I utterly detest, but no. Oh, this is it. This is this is the low point. It's all up here from here. <laughs> I own a co copy of Garcy's Wing, considered to be one of the worst anime to ever come out in the 90s. And that's better than this. Yes, because the dub is just so bad, it's awesome. By the way, that banana came from that dude's crotch. Oh, my God. Watch episode two, you'll know what I'm talking about, and then consider pouring ass into your eyes afterwards. A banana dick joke, really? It's so stupid, like... How do they even function as social human beings in their own damn school? Trick question. They don't. <laughs> this is what... What the fuck is up with the tear? <laughs> they put CG tears over their face and it just looked fucking bizarre. Oh my god. Special, that is the pinnacle definition of special effects failure right there. <laughs> they look like they're getting tentacle raped in the eye sockets. Oh. I can't unsee that now. <laughs> just... And enjoying it. Uh, I don't even know what they're happy and excited from. Oh. Yeah... One of the voice actresses in this anime is actually someone I liked in later stuff. Like, I think Midori's voice actress is the same voice actress as, uh, 
Makoto Nanaya from Blaze Blue, uh, Labrys from Persona 4 Arena, and Zero the Third from Virtue's Last Reward. And I liked Damn. her in those. I actually liked her in all three of those roles. One of them, one of them, she has like a hilarious Brooklyn accent. That's Labrys. And when she was Zero the Third in Virtue's Last Reward, she just she was like crazy excited. She she, she sounded like she enjoyed that part. It's, you have to see the uh, the OVA trailer of Virtue's Last Reward to see what I'm talking about. English dub. <sighs> I miss those mutton chops. <laughs> God, you fucking mutton chops. Yeah. I, I had to keep... Well, actually, no, no, no. A couple months ago, they had to stay on. But now, because... I liked how cool they look, and I actually got some really kick-ass compliments out of them. I decided to keep them, mm. but until after graduation. The long hair th thing, though, I hate. Uh, it always gets in my eyes. It's pain in the ass to dry normally. See, this is proof that I actually did officially buy that shit. Well, I have the copy. I don't know. I don't know if it's proof that I flat bought it, but I did buy it at Best Buy. I remember that dreadful day. I, you you I, need to make a video of you yourself, like, shooting it with a shotgun or something. Uh, I, maybe. I need an extra copy, though. Like I said, I like to keep the collections, even if they are complete trash, because, you know, maybe one day we'll watch something that's so bad it's horrible, it's like, oh, I got something. I got something that you guys will suffer from. Okay, I have no idea what I just jawed. There's an anime I originally wanted to review, and you know what? I was so annoyed, I was like, ah, fuck it, I'm reviewing it anyways. Small amount of people wanted to see the review. They're going to get their wish. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, yeah. This is my equivalent to your Dragon Ball Evolution, in a way. This is anime <laughs> I just, I just can't stand. Like, it is all uphill from there. It's like, yeah, this anime sucks. Um, but at least it's not green green. And that's the end of the review. Okay, when I did buy that DVD, I, I did not know it was, I thought it was going to be enjoyable. Sorry, I, I thought it was, this was before I saw, you know, reviews of the anime community and such. You know, before, yeah. be, before I can, by the way, there's an echo on your video. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, I unplugged my <laughs> I unplugged my this headphones. This was before I used to like to watch reviews. Nowadays, I don't watch a whole lot of reviews. I just I still wing it like I used to. But I th I thought this anime would be entertaining. I'm like, ooh, fifteen bucks for a whole series. What could possibly go? And that's what happened. So Al, um, I do not recommend you check this anime out. And I will take that recommendation seriously. <laughs> Uh, is there an anime with a very similar pres premise I can recommend? Recommend? I don't know. Um, it is of the harem genre. I recommend Tenchi. I, uh, maybe I'll, uh, maybe something with a little more teeth to it. I would recommend Love Hina over Green Green. And I hate Love Hina too. I really hate that series. Um, I don't really care for harems in general. I used to be a fan, but then they kind of got downhill. Like The only harems I like are Tenchi... Um, Negima counts as one, and I think El Hazard counts as one, even though there's like a definite love interest between the protagonist and one of the other females, and the the others are just eye candy, or they're in love with some other character. I think that counts. It's a sister series to Tenchi. Um, I just recommend any of those. Somebody posted a comment on my video saying it's not that bad. By the way, saying something like that implies that it's bad in some way. Meaning it's not good. Meaning it's not worth your time. I hate when people say that. It's like, oh, this is like a really horrible anime. Like, come on, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's still bad, idiot. God. Uh, yeah, I I really don't have anything else to say about this green green video. Yeah, um, you haven't seen it though, have you? I've never seen the actual uh, show. No. I, I even if it even if you're trying to look for something that's so bad it's entertaining, I I would definitely skip this one. This this is like Jim A. One Jim when he tried to warn people not to see Big Money Hustlers. 
bad. It's just bad. <laughs> My motherfucking money. money. Stroke. Um. I want to turn that into a GIF. <laughs> it's so bad. I wonder if someone had done that already. Well, well. Anyways, that's all we got to say. If you haven't seen Big Al's Memory Lane, uh, you should check that one out. It's on another thing that he personally hated. I kind of mentioned it already before, but yeah. Go ahead and check that out if you haven't. Uh, that's all I got to say. I don't know when the next Memory Lane is going to be or what the subject is on. These, this is pretty spontaneous. and Due to working with another person, there's always some sort of scheduled conflict. So it, it took us like a, a while until we could find a definite time. So, mm -hmm. yeah. With that said, Dark Screen 217 signing out. And this is Big Al over and out. <laughs>